Banks are banks. Most people like you would rather go to their dentist than go to their bank, right? Well, however we feel about banks, we need a financial industry. And this industry is preparing itself for an unprecedented disruption in the coming years, which is great news for game changers like you. Like us, you know. I used to be one of you. When I graduated, I left with some great ideas about changing the world, just like you will. I took advantage of the first opportunities at FinTechs, which helped me pay my bills. And then boom, 2008 came. Do you mean the financial crisis? Yes, followed by a recession with devastating effects. Many of us felt there was a job to be done, a healthier way of dealing with finances, using our skills to make a difference. So when I first heard a BBVA representative talking to me about their vision say there's a job to be done, well, that was fate. So I decided Excuse that- Excuse me. Since 2008, we all know there was a job to be done at the banks but nothing substantial has changed, so what happened to this vision? Well, maybe it's good to know that at the time BBVA had enough sense and ethics to manage the crisis. But that's just one reading of a job to be done. This was our vision. Just look around. Do you notice that we can only see those who are lit up by their digital device? We predicted this blackout more than 10 years ago. But instead of fearing it, we discovered that each of those lights contained the raw material that would change the industry forever, data. By using the power of data, we could make a real positive impact on people's lives. This is the job to be done. Using data to empower people and help them make better financial decisions. What does all of this have to do with us? Everything. This year alone, we've hired one and a half thousand science and engineering technicians. Every quarter, we offer solutions with technologies which are precisely your strong point here. Artificial intelligence, blockchain, biometrics, big data. In fact, for us, the fun starts now. We're now delivering a new generation of services to compare and anticipate expenses, build smarter budgeting, or improve financial well-being, all running over data analytics. Thankfully, we're ahead of the game. The pace is accelerating, and we're seeing our clients adopt and love these new technologies. In 2018, BBVA's digital customer base will surpass 50%. More than a third of our sales are now done through digital channels. Last year, we designed the best banking app in the world. And then we completely changed it over the summer, just because we knew we could make it better. Once you accept change, amazing things happen. The mind transforms, and there's no going back, right? Today, inside BBVA, we work as an ecosystem of hundreds of startups, knowing that our work is transforming the industry forever. It reminded me of the excitement I felt sitting in this room for the first time, when everything was just starting. You know, we've never known a transformation of these proportions. And being a part of it as well, amazing. Any questions? Welcome, welcome. Welcome everybody. Do you have any questions? I, I hope that today you are excited. Welcome to BBVA Innovation Stage. For us, this is an amazing day. This is an amazing event. It's an event about connection. It's about innovation and about collaboration. So we actively invite you to connect with us and to be part of this amazing story. Welcome to the second day of, of, of the South Summit. Um, my name is Marisol Menendez. I'm heading open innovation at BBVA. And today you will be seeing uh, all the work that we are working within BBVA to connect with the outside world, and we want you to enjoy it and to connect with us. So, um, I'm going to give you just five minutes of, uh, of a brief introduction about this innovation in collaboration. I want to set the grounds on what you will listen from BBVA and from all our collaborators today. So, uh, we have one challenge. 
we are thinking if, if we are really learning as fast as the world is changing, or if prefer, preferably if we can learn a little bit faster because we want to lead the change in the industry. But moreover, I think this is a powerful concept. We know that the truly uh, important changes in the world will come not from new technology, but from new ways of collaborator, collaboration. And that's in the deep roots of open innovation. Why? Well, because we know, as Carlos says, that innovation is not an option. We need to innovate to survive. But more importantly, we know that we can't do it alone. And that's when open innovation connects. And this is our promise to you. This is our manifesto in the open innovation initiatives. We want to connect. Of course, here today we are connecting. But we want to collaborate. Why? Because we want to bring amazing solutions to the hands of our customers. And that execution part is the differentiation. We want to bring amazing to the hands of our customers. How do we do it? We are saying well, that we, we don't want to do it alone. But well, we work with, of course, the startups. Who is a startup here? Raise your hand. Ooh, we need you guys. We need the startups. And you will listen amazing stories from startups today. But also ecosystem builders, these events are critical for us to create the right kind of connection. With corporations, we are working with many of our peers here in Spain and worldwide to create this magic. And also government, academia, and other institutions. We need everybody to work in the same, uh, with the same momentum towards the same goal, because this is how magic will happen. And we have several ways to collaborate, OK? We, of course, connect, and we have our strong initiatives of scouting. Today, you will listen, listen at many startups pitching. Uh, they came through our BBVA Open Talent Competition, which is the biggest and longest running fintech competition in the world. This year, it's running its 10th edition, and we are uh, close to know the overall winner. But today, you will have the winner from Spain letting, sharing their ideas. Um, we have an open marketplace where we, we will connect the startups with BBVA, and we have several ways of scouting. But we also do co-creation. Of course, we partner up with small and big companies because we say that we are working also with corporations. We have our investment uh, mechanisms, and of course, we buy out um, and acquire companies. There are many ways to collaborate, as many as people as we are in the world. And we are eager to explore the right way to connect with you. And we are also working at two speeds at the same time, because we want our customer today to have the best solution in their hands. And we are working really hard to do that. You can see that we received, uh, we were awarded with the best app in the world for second year in the row, in, in the row, yeah. You can experience and explore that, uh, the solution in our booth here today, but this is also a good representation of how we want to bring these solutions to our customers today. But at the same time, we are working for the future, for what will happen in one year, three years, five years, and 10 years from now. We want to continue creating these amazing experiences for our customers. So we work with all kinds of connections, with everybody, even with the Roca brothers who are not whatsoever related to the financial industry, but can inspire us to create new connections. Of course, through Maria, we connect with Telefonica, we connect with the gurus and with experts, but also with entrepreneurs and people from all over the world. That's how amazing stories happen. Like the one with Change, who won last year the Open Town competition, they created mechanisms to anticipate overdrafts in your accounts. And people will pay voluntarily for that service. They created a successful business model using artificial intelligence for your banking industry. And they're working with BBVA today. Or like Synapbox, who was a startup also that we connected in Mexico, and they are already corporate uh, vendor for BBVA. They created a technology to analyze emotions using your camera and mobile phone so you can understand if the customer is connecting with your application or not. This is the beginning of artificial intelligence related to emotions. This is the future. As you can see, we are working together to create a smart network with trust, based in trust, with transparency, but more importantly, with benefit for all.
benefit for us, benefit for you, benefit for our customers. Not only our customers, but also your customers. So I invite you to keep working with us to create this magic and to create the real transformation, exploring new ways of collaboration. Please enjoy the day and let's create magic together. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Hello, good morning, that's right. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I'm Pedro Muñoz. I'm working in BBVA Open Innovation. I'll be we, I will be with you during the whole morning talking about innovation, because we are in the innovation stage by BBVA, and of course, we will have to talk about innovation. There are many ways to innovate. We, have, uh, we can co-create, as Marisol was saying. We have, as well, our own venture creations. We can do a joint venture with, uh, with a startup, and as well, we can do it ourselves. And everyone about all these kind of innovations will be here telling you interesting stories and relevant content specifically, exclusively for you today. So uh, let's just start with the first uh, components as well of this, of this morning. We thought we'll have two startups that they were winners of the BVA Open Challenge competition. The first one is Blue Ops. With us, we have Balas Valuwegi, and they were the winners of the fi uh, FinTech Fund Sustainable uh, Finance category. So Balas, thank you very much. You have your five minutes speech. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Oh, maybe it's a bit too loud. Okay, it's better now. Yeah, so uh, we are Blue Ops. Uh, we are a um, digital wealth management platform, basically. Uh, we are focused on socially responsible investing, so renewable energy or gender equality, uh, stuff like this. We already have uh, some traction, but we are a small company, just started last year, and uh, we are now seeking for our next round of uh, financing. So there's a big problem in uh, the investment space. The first is about nine out of 10 dollars or euros is unadvised. Uh, so people invest and they don't really know what to invest in. They don't know the risks, they don't know much. Uh, and they want to invest in a, uh, in based on their value, value preferences. On the other side of the picture, uh, the margins are plummeting and it's harder and harder every year to capture enough revenue to keep up the operation. So we created a solution, which is an online digital wealth management platform, which works both ways, to the retail customers as well, to uh, B2B side, to the banks and asset managers. Uh, and uh, this creates an experience, a good experience for the users and for the bank's advisors uh, and executives as well. Uh, our business model is uh, simple and straightforward. We are between uh, the retail customers and the banks and asset managers. And uh, for the retail customers, we can work together with the bank as a co-branded service. But for the B2B side, this can be uh, a white label solution. And this is a completely a software as a service, cloud-based solution. Uh, we are talking about a huge, huge market opportunity here. Uh, it is estimated that about 15 trillion of euros uh, is unadvised. And this is only the money which is uh, coming in, inheriting from uh, the baby boomers to the millennials, just in Europe. And also, 2.4 billion is already uh, advised, but the problem is that uh, it's not really, uh, most of it is not really an efficient way. So it's really expensive to keep up the operations. What makes us different? Uh, we are fo focused on social responsible investing. This is one of the only ones uh, in the world. Uh, also, we use artificial intelligence. So the key to give the best return and the best customer experience is to uh, know the customers uh, the best way you can do it. So uh, it improves over time. The system improves itself by monitoring the, how the customer behaves. Is he or she panicking during a market plummet? Uh, is, is he or she invests uh, enough, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we are based in the Central Eastern European region, which is uh, um, one of the biggest upcoming regions in Europe. And uh, the, it's not as expensive as in Western Europe or here uh, in Southern Europe. So uh, the talent is very good and it's about the third of the cost. So that's also a big differentiation. And we use every kind of assets 
uh, not only stocks, not only ETFs, but mutual funds, corporate and government bonds, uh, commodities, even some derivatives into the picture, which is also unique. Nobody else uh, does it, especially in the social responsible investing space. Uh, so what we are now looking for is uh, funding early next year, uh, about 700K, uh, but uh, about the half of it is, is already uh, subscribed. Um, Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, just please feel free to approach me after this uh, block, and you can send me an email if you have any questions. And please check out our website, and you can try our uh, solution for yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Valas. Uh, we are going to have next startup with us winner, but uh, please, if everyone wants to join us, Take the seat, this is your time before the, the, the next speaker, and everyone can be here very comfortable because the content that we have today in this stage, believe me, is gonna be amazing. So next startup is the winners of the Country Awards Spain. The name is Polaru, and with us we have uh, David Rovira. Thank you very much, David. You have your time. Yep. All right, look around. Technology has changed our lives in ways uh, we couldn't imagine. Uh, technology is an incredible tool that actually makes our lives easier and simpler. You know, you want to, I don't know, book a house in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Book it. It's so easy. You want to drive home from work without actually driving the car? Easy. We can do it. Yet somehow, Dealing with utility service still sucks. It's absolutely frustrating. It's hard to understand bills. Nobody understands bills. It's incredible that with this technology and innovation, it's still not in this industry. That's horrible. If you don't agree with me, it's either because one, you've never dealt with these services before, so thank the person that has. Second, maybe you just don't care. You know, you care about 9.99 on Spotify. You care if they told you it's going to be one more euro. But it seems like you don't care that you're actually paying 120 euros per bill every year. And it's like you don't care. That's a problem. And third, if you don't agree with this uh, phrase, it's because, it's because you're one of our clients and therefore your experience, your experience is absolutely mesmerizing, or at least that's what we're trying to do. You have to take into account that we're talking about only in Spain. And I say only in Spain because we're focusing on a global uh, world, so we're going to go global. But the idea is we spend 32 million euros on water, electricity, gas, and internet. That's 32 million euros of a service that is expensive. It's a total waste of our time. It's absolutely frustrating to speak to these companies. And it's completely outdated. There's no innovation. The only innovation there exists, it's, OK, the bill, instead of receiving it on paper, I'm going to give you the PDF. Wow, that is a breakthrough. So. What if I told you, why not have an app where you can just select the services that you want, you send us your bills, and we change them to better providers. We do all the changes, we manage the contracts, you don't have to do anything. Then we offer you, I don't know, depending on your consumption, depending on your preferences, you'll say, I prefer a renewable energy. Okay, we'll do it for you. But then we offer you something even better, one monthly rate flat for all your services. We tell you, for your consumption and your preferences, we know that you consume 125 euros for all these services a month. Why surprise bills? Why surprise months when suddenly we have like 800 bucks going away from our account with no uh, previous notification? No, let's make it easy. Let's make the experience easy. Before I continue, I want to make something very clear, and this is the core of any business. This is what I believe. This is what we believe in Polaru. Traditionally, this service was specifically designed to serve homes. The consumer of energy is our homes. No, that's absolutely wrong. The consumer of energy is the people living in those homes. We are the consumers, and therefore, the, the, the service, the industry should be designed to serve people. And that's what we're trying to do. Let's flip the table upside down. Enough of having homes, bills being thrown to homes. 85% of world population don't understand bills. That's a problem. You need to know who you're paying to. You need to know what services you have, and that's why we're here. Now, how do we do that? Let's create an ecosystem. 
we're not just giving you or offering you uh, the chance to have uh, an ecosystem that manages your bills, that offers you saving money and time. We're giving providers like BBVA or giving providers like, pro like uh, energy providers the chance to offer you personalized uh, added value propositions. Look at the banking industry. It changed when they opened their APIs. The energy industry is going to change when they open up and understand that we can offer a lot of more things if we all work together. The BVBA has something very interesting. Their motto is, the more you know, the better your decisions. And I couldn't agree more. It's so true. The more you know, the better your decisions. The problem is that knowing and acting upon that information, it's two different things. And that's where Polaru comes in, through action. What do we do? The more you know, the better your decisions. But with Polaru, the less you do. That's why we are thankful to BVBA for giving us this opportunity to work together and try to create an ecosystem that we all benefit from. Now, even though in the past 12 months we've been everywhere, you know, we've won the BBVA Open Challenge, we've won the Santander Open Challenge, we've won the FinTech uh, Open Challenge, and even though this is all important, it's absolutely crap, because what matters is making money. Now, we've uh, come up with a way of making money, and even though it's just been 12 months and this doesn't seem like crazy numbers, we need to go into account that only with 1,000 clients, we manage 250,000 euros per month. Right now, we're at the 30K per month. We're going to go at 250,000 per month. And that will keep increasing. And this is just Spain. Look at Europe. Look worldwide. And even though this is important, for us, there's one more important thing. And I think this is the key to any business. I believe that a company is as good as the people in it. So you put good potential, you put good talent, and possibilities are endless. And that's why I'm so extremely proud to work with these people. And to finish this off, you know, just simplify your life. And uh, you know, if you want dreams to work, you better start working. So just keep pushing, have fun, and thank you for having me here. South Summit, BBVA, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much, David. With us, we have today uh, a real case of collaboration. Uh, Pablo Leguina, welcome. Thank you very much for being hey, here. Thank uh, you, Pedro. He's representing SIGTAC, and this is a, a real case of collaboration. So he's going to explain to you firstly, if you don't mind, yep. uh, what you do uh, uh, as a startup. Yes. And then we can talk and to have a chat and to go deeply into that collaboration and all this stuff. All Excellent. right? Let's crack on I'll then. see you later. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Pedro, and thank you, BBVA, for uh, hosting me today. Uh, I'm here representing SIGTAC. We are a technology company, uh, that, uh, and we do something very specific. We do uh, something called in image advertising. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that term, but I'm sure you've come across at some point uh, with, uh, with us. Uh, think about when you're reading uh, online media. Uh, there's an image next to, next to the piece of news that you're reading, and in that image, suddenly uh, uh, an ad pops up, either in the form of a display or in the form of a video. Okay, so th that is in image advertising. And, and you can see a real example of a campaign we did for, uh, for VVVA, uh, for, the, for the bank's uh, real estate app, uh, that's Valora, uh, appearing in, in Forbes magazine. Uh, the company was founded in 2014 by, two, uh, by Albert and Jorge, our two company founders. They were working at Google at the time, and, uh, and they identified the opportunity to uh, exploit images as, a, as premium advertising inventory. So back at the time, everybody was focused on video, and even though uh, images is one of the premium uh, elements of any website, they were kind of left aside. And also there was a, a, a decreasing performance of traditional digital advertising. Uh, banners, uh, people were uh, upset with banners, and they were more interested in contextual advertising. That is ads that are integrated in the content uh, of the website where they appear. Uh, so that's what triggers SIPTAC. Uh, in the next slide, I just want to show you some of the things that we have achieved so far. Uh, we have delivered more than 3,000 ads for uh, more than 100 top brands in several industries. We uh, built up a team of uh, more than 100 talented people. We've got operations in seven markets now in Europe and Latin. We've, um, we've developed our own full stack of proprietary technology. Uh, and, um, and we've built up um, a network of publishers, major publishers with uh, more than 2.5 billion page views per uh, month and reaching more than 200 million uh, people globally. In the next two or three slides, I'm going to show you how our business works. Okay? So I told you we're a technology company, and what we do is we link publishers, so digital media, with advertisers. Yeah? The first pillar of our uh, business uh, model is the technology. 
we have different uh, modules in that uh, technology stack, but uh, probably the most, uh, the most powerful one is what we call the cognitive content analysis. This is a piece of machine learning technology that allows us to uh, provide an, an almost human understanding of the, of the image and the context where the image appears, okay? And it's something that is very powerful for us because it allows us first to serve contextualized, adver contextualized advertising and secondly to guarantee brand safety, which is critical for our customers. The, the second pillar of our business model are the publishers. Okay, think about uh, uh, Unidas Editorial in Spain here with titles like El Mundo, Marca, or Expansión. Uh, they are our suppliers, okay? They grant us access to their images. And we, through our technology, have done two things. The first one is uh, increment the, uh, the size of their advertising inventory. Uh, nobody was exploiting images before. And we've given them a new revenue stream which doesn't cannibalize all the sources of income that they had previously. And we do this also caring for the user experience because we just don't want to be a short-term patch for them. We just want to be long-term partners. The, uh, so these are some of the titles that we work with, yeah? Uh, so I just a um, sample. Uh, and, and the third pillar of our business model are, sorry. There we are, advertisers, obviously our clients. Our solutions give them the access to uh, link their brands to uh, almost any territory. Think about uh, uh, sport events like the World Cup. Think about uh, celebrities. They can uh, uh, associate their brands to any pretty much specific territory that they want. Uh, but it's not only that. Our solutions are uh, effective as well. The, in, in the digital advertising industry, we work with two main KPIs. I won't bore you with the days, but this is just a um, uh, to give you some background, viewability, which is the number of times that an ad appears in a screen, and the CTR, or click-through ratio, which is the number of times that somebody actually interacts with the, with the ad. Uh, our, our solutions have an average 80% viewability, 1% CTR, when the, uh, the, the, the standard display ad will normally have 50% viewability and less than 0.4% uh, CTR. Um, now, these are some of, the, uh, some of the brands that we've had the privilege of working with. Uh, and uh, that's the end of the presentation. So uh, we've, we've really enjoyed the ride so far. Uh, we've, we've had the privilege of, uh, as I said, working with uh, VVVA and other uh, big, uh, big companies. But we are certainly not complacent because, uh, because it's tough. And, uh, and, and I think it's, uh, what, is come to, what is to come is, 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 is much better. So uh, thank you. Thank you very much. So let's talk a, a little bit, because we have some minutes uh, before the next speaker. And uh, I think that this is very interesting, because this is a real showcase about how we can innovate big corporations together with the startups. They have brilliant ideas. They all have brilliant capabilities. And sometimes we, have, we can do some collaboration together in order to innovate together. Uh, so from your perspective, which has been the, your experience with uh, BVA so far and what you have done? And tell us a little bit your experience. Um. We've, we've had the privilege of uh, having exposure to the bank in, in several ways. I show you uh, a campaign we did for them back in April this year, and it's not the only one that we've done. In fact, I think over the last 12 months, we've done seven campaigns for VVVA, generating the in excess of 100K of revenue. So uh, the bank is a client of us. Then our two company founders, they're part of a global network of entrepreneurs called Endeavor, and through that network, they've had the chance of having exposure to a uh, to very senior people at the bank, including Carlos Torres, your CEO. And uh, the third and the final one is that uh, VVVA is one of our transactional banks and one of the banks that first um, support us with uh, working capital funding in our journey. So uh, in, in, in these three uh, uh, areas, what I would say is that uh, you really feel that the bank uh, fosters innovation, okay? Uh, so uh, really, please. This is, this is amazing because basically we are talking here about how we can connect with the ecosystem, how we can talk to players like Endeavor, for example, you mentioned they are a partner of us, of VVA, and as well we can find interesting solutions, helping startups, helping founders in order to, to innovate, and then in the future, I guess that that was some years ago, in the future we are doing something together, right? Very good. Yeah, and amazing. So let me go a little bit backwards, uh, because I imagine that the four years ago uh, is when SIGTAC uh, was founded, four years ago. And uh, in, in a world where there are big players, big publishers, big advertisers, big media companies, you have a, a small but great idea. Uh, how, how, how is then uh, your challenge at that time uh, and the benefits to cooperate with big corporations having a small idea? How was, how was that? I, I would say that uh, apart from the technology challenge, which is something that uh, 
it's uh, still there and it, uh, it's something that we need to uh, face uh, day in, day out. Our first challenge was uh, around our product, okay? The first uh, product that we developed was a product that was, a, was a really a performance product. We, we developed something called tag, which basically plays a tag in the image. Uh, for example, think about uh, the Real Madrid jersey, picture in marca, tag there, and it would take you to the Adidas website. Now, that was a very clever idea, but the performance was really poor. And why is that? Because the user at that time, somebody that is looking at marca, is very far away from the bottom side of the, of the funnel, okay? So they're not really looking to buy something. Now, at some point, through uh, interactions with our clients, they told us, oh, this is actually a very good solution for Renault, okay? Renault, obviously, they're not looking to sell anything online. They're, they're looking for awareness. And that was a, a pivotal time, a, a pivotal moment for us because we realized that actually, oh, guys, our solution is far better for uh, uh, awareness than for performance. Uh, so I would say that that's, yeah. And in the end, you have uh, great benefits uh, uh, dealing with big corporations, right? Apart from challenges. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. This is uh, as well an opportunity you to learn an opportunity to know how to scale as well, how to improve your own product, definitely. Uh, so far, which, which were your main challenges that you, you had? And then maybe in the next question, we will talk about the future. But so far, we're talking about your four years experience. So which were, they, which were the, your, your challenges so far? Uh, so the product challenge I, I mentioned before, there was also an important challenge, uh, which is quite uh, comical at some point. Okay, we were visiting uh, publishers, media, digital media. Presenting, and presenting them our product, and they were telling us, okay, that is fantastic, but what brands have you worked for? And they say, well, we haven't really worked for any brand yet, but we have this fantastic product. Then we went to talk to clients, and they said, oh, that is a fantastic product, but which publishers have you got in your network? I said, actually, we don't have any publishers yet. Uh, so this is something that we eventually overcome because we have a great commercial team, and eventually because the, the, our solutions are really innovative, and back at the time, we were the only one doing it, what we do uh, first in Spain and then in, in some of the other markets where we're working. I think that here is something in both like, like in trust because you are uh, a startup with great ideas, but they want to test it. And as long as you don't prove your big clients, the other ones, they are not joining you. So I guess that this is a, a, a real challenge for all the startups to prove your, and to test your, your technology. Uh, looking to the future, uh, with the, what kind of challenges you are going to, go, uh, to have in the, in the near uh, some years? First one, uh, I would say that remain relevant to our, this is probably quite a standard for all of us or for, all, for every business, is remain relevant for our, um, for our supply chain partners, for our publishers and our advertisers. Uh, I mean, to be fair, uh, our industry is uh, really, really dynamic. Uh, we've got many players doing, if not the same thing, similar things to us. And uh, if we want to remain relevant, we need to continue investing in innovation, continue investing in development and finding new products and new solutions. And, and more specifically to us, the second one will be a, a geographical challenge because obviously we've got a, we've got a presence in, the, in Europe and LATAM and the next one will probably be uh, to expand into the US. Yeah, definitely, that, that's clear that you know, in turn of age you have to move. You cannot stay, stay stuck, right? So Pablo, uh, thank you very much for uh, sharing uh, these words with us, your experience, uh, and it's a pleasure to have you here on the stage. Thank you very much, please. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you. So we continue with the next uh, pre presenters. Uh, now we were seeing uh, startups, but with the startups, apart from collaboration, we can do also joint ventures. Our next speaker is going to explain you a real case of success in BVA. He's going to explain you all the experience and how we can create a joint venture also with a startup. With us, we have Eduardo Azanza from Veridas. Thank you very much, Eduardo.